Good morning. Good morning. I'm reading Matthew 4, 15, 16. You can start from 14. That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, The land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, by the way of the sea beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people who sat in darkness have seen a great light, and upon those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light has dawned. That is why we are here to acquire light. Say, I'm here to acquire light. I'm here to acquire light. The light is Jesus. The light is Jesus. That I may shine. Through the, darkness. through the darkness, that people who sit in the darkness, in the darkness may, see this light may see this light and follow Jesus. And they follow Jesus. My name is Lindiwe from South Africa. The young boy came and bumped into your life to destroy you. God saved you somehow. Please enlighten me, men of God. At the early stage, early years, death Amen, by prophet. accident. Amen, prophet. Since childhood. I confirm the prophecy to be true, prophet. There's a, a man who, when I was very young, who really wanted me dead. My mother told me that there's a, a car that came and bumped me. So this car... It was meant to kill me, but my mother told me that I didn't die and they rushed me to hospital. Since then, I've been having accidents in my life. Each and every time I have accidents. And the worst one that I had, it was a Ford Fiesta. I was not the one driving, but the man came, a, a truck was driving a, a truck. The car was so small and it, it just rolled over and the truck overturned. So that's when I saw that the power, it is only God who protected me. And from there, only accidents after accidents. But the one of a truck, man of God, I can confirm that, is the one that made me see that God is alive in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Father, I command the spirit of death from today disappear. Never an accident. Go and preach the gospel. Amen. We are designed to preach the gospel. Amen. I am a pastor from Kruger's Dorp. I confirm it to be true. Prophet. You're a pastor. Amen, prophet. But uh, there is a, a tall pastor with a question mark. He has been really terrorizing. Don't mention any name. I don't want to say any word. Yes, I confirm it to be true. There's a pastor who was really terrorizing me. He wanted um, a relationship with me, but I didn't want him. So he was really terrorizing me, man of God. Don't follow him. Amen. You follow Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. While you are there at the pulpit. Jesus. I want you to. Oh, yes. To dance and break Thank their hearts. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Break their hearts. Amen. Yeah? Amen. <laughs> for 21 years without anything to show. Um, the three houses. <laughs> Who is this young man? <laughs> He's my husband. Prophet, the three houses that you are talking about, the father of my grandfather, those are three houses, that one, two, and there. It's in Madinar, but at my grandfather's house. At my grandfather is where I'm always dreaming. The last time I told you, I was dreaming about it. <laughs> is true, man 
of God. I was dreaming of that house. There were bad things happening there. And I confirmed that prophecy because when we were young, there's a dream that I remember. That there was, I, I believe it was a witch doctor. We were going around the fire, they were doing something like this. And we were going around that. that at the same house? At the same, yes, compound. This is the Sangoma, which was brought from the mountain. Yes. To come and do this witchcraft. Yes, sir. Yes, prophet. So, what do you want me to say? But now it is over. Yes. But this issue is still a pain. Huh? Even yesterday he was complaining. Because I was declaring him free. But they said, no, he still has a pain here. <laughs> That's why you saw me touch. I said, ah, 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 ah. you are not free. Yeah. You go home and then the complaining, uh, we have come from past and there's no light. No, 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 no. Prophet. <laughs> yes, there is no light. <laughs> Oh Lord Jesus, touch his light in Jesus' soul and name. Thank you Jesus for my deliverance. I be believe the light has come. A brother, you're a young man, you have asked for visa seven times. Come on for prayer. There's a brother who is coming forth to confirm this prophecy for his deliverance. Let us listen to him. My name is Felix Kipkemoy. I'm coming from Kenya. What the man of God has prophesied is true. I have tried applying for visa seven times and I have a proof uh, showing that I have been applying severally, but it has failed. The first visa that I, I tried to apply, it was in the United States. I wanted to apply for studies. After trying to apply for the, for the visa, I was rejected. Therefore, I decided, that was the first time. Therefore, I decided the second time, I'll try to apply for a, a visa in Canada. And here is the proof. I tried to apply for a school called Medicine Heart College. Okay, because application of, time, of the acknowledgement. Because of time, let me pray for you. May I want to Canada back? <laughs> Brother, this time when you apply, don't show this sister that you have applied. I know the sister. <laughs> Why are you surprised? Because it is true. There's this girl I remember. I showed her, look at this is the process I'm taking in, I'm going, and this is the country that I've been applying and I've been rejected. And each and every time before I apply, would call me. And when I, I would pick the phone, he would ask me, have you gone? That is what she would tell me. Have you gone? Then I tell her, no, until it reached a point, I did not pick the call again. I said, this time, this is the last one I've been applying. I said, it will be secret. I will not tell anybody. But first, I have to go to who, Prophet. Who is she to you? She's just a friend. Go, oh, it is all well with you. Thank you, Jesus, for releasing my visas. Thank you, Jesus. You have gone already to Canada. <laughs> Our sister... You are now on a third husband, but the man you started with, with a leg problem, is the man who cursed you while you left him, come out for prayer. He had a problem on the right leg. Come out for prayer, you know very much. You saw this in the dream. There's a sister who is coming forth to confirm this prophecy for her deliverance. Let us listen to her. My name is Damaris Mora from Kenya. I'm the lady that the man of God prophesy about. I was married with the man. That man has a problem in his right leg. We stayed for him for about three years. I didn't get a child. He chased me out. When I was moving, he cursed me. 
he tell me you will never get peace wherever you go you will never get peace i always see him in a dream telling me to go back to his home now i'm in that marriage i've stayed with two years nothing the marriage is not going well man of god what you have said man of god is true receive your deliverance in jesus this is said the marriage from kenya receiving the deliverance A sister from South Africa, you were preparing for marriage and something happened. Now you don't know what is going on since that time. Come out for prayer. Something went wrong. There's a lady. Let us listen to her. My name is Princess Ndlapo and I am from South Africa. What confirms that I'm from South Africa? I have the passport here. The lady who is confirming the prophecy is now presenting her passport to confirm that truly she is from South Africa as per the prophecy by the man of God of a lady from South Africa concerning this marriage issue. Men of God, what you're saying is very true. I am the lady that was preparing for a white wedding with my late fiancé. We did a traditional wedding. So the year that we were supposed to do a white wedding, he passed on through epilepsy. And then I would now and then see my late fiancé in my dreams. So what you're saying is true. You were bigger than that, but now you have grown small. Yes, man of God. <laughs> if I remember from high school, I was bigger. People, they always mistaken me as a child, where I'm a parent. And these are my children with them. my late fiancé, who was supposed to be my husband. Let's go. Princess Nkrapo from South Africa receiving her deliverance. Which brethren? Mm. You devil, you are hiding here. Mm. You want to talk? Mm. Which brethren, what is going on here? Who are you? I'm a king! What have you done to his finances? I destroyed everything. You stole everything? Everything. About his marriage? I destroyed everything. 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 He has fire! to come here. Every knee must bow at the name of Jesus. Give him a mic. What happened to you? <laughs> I could see fire coming out of your eyes. I could not even stand. You come from where? From Africa. Ivory Coast? Yeah. Who is he to you? He is my best friend. I just met him at my workplace and he told me about Jesus. And that same week I gave my life to Christ. Yeah. This was a wooden house. My mom and I, we went for a good doctor and he, yeah, he cooked some kind of meat and yes. That was the place the man even lived. But this place, I mean the wood one, is the one whenever you want to meet him, that kind of secret thing, you just get inside and yeah. And whenever you dream, you dream that you're back to that house. Yes. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was true. I confirm. This is where you got all that strong demons to torture you. Oh. Ah. And uh, the time you met this girl, Everything got worse. Mm. Let me bring you the girl. Oh, wow. <laughs> I used to date you, you know, look like sour. I started even having dream about the same girl. 
came into my dream like we are together, that kind of. You guys look like her. Sorry. Yeah. She's the one who came to me and. <laughs> She's not the one. You nearly ran mad. Yes, that was true. That was true. I was even about to commit a suicide. Yes. That same last or last year, January, in the middle of January, I was about to do it in my room because a lot of things was going on. I told my mom, my dad, even friends, they were like, they could not get it. And that same night, I was about to do it. And I heard a voice said, Ken, don't do that. You are free. Thank you, man of God. God bless you. Thank you for this house, honestly. Our sister, you are here, you are putting on goggles. Three times you tried to take poison. The issue is so depressing. Come out for prayer. You are putting on goggles. There's a sister who is coming forth to confirm this prophecy for her deliverance. Let us listen to her. My name is uh, Mayansa Chongumena. I'm from Zambia. Man of God, you prophesied that there is a lady wearing goggles who's been trying to take poison three times. I confirm, man of God, the prophecy is true. This problem started when I got married uh, at the age of 17. And my father was against my marriage, but I went ahead and got married to the man I'm married to up to now. Is it the dark man? No, man of God. Where the dark man? He's in Australia. <laughs> He wanted to marry me, but I went ahead and got married to this man that I've married to now. I wish I didn't marry this man. I wish... It is true, man of God. You are correct. This one in Australia is calling me now. This is my story. I remember his picture with the scarf. Uh, you remember that picture? Yes, I do, man of God. He sent it to you? Yes, man of God. With the, when he had the scarf? He sent me a photo. He was wearing a scarf. He was in Australia. What do you want me now to do for you? Man of God, I want you to pray for me. I really love the man that I live with. He's a very good man. But I won't lie. But we are never happy as a couple, even if we sit in the bedroom. I try to chat with him, he always tells me I'm making noise. Now, let me ask you a question. Yes, man of God. When did the scarf man in Australia stop calling? <laughs> this is my story. This, this is, is my story. story. The one so, in Australia, man of God, last called me uh, three months ago. We just had a normal conversation. He told me he's married with two children. From there, I just cut the communication because I no longer love him. I love my husband. Mm. Pay attention to what will help you. Stay with your husband. The death has gone, stay with your husband. My name is Ingrid Ngoma from Zambia. Uh, in my family, we experience a lot of confusion. The way you people, you were brought up, you got little advice. It's true, man of God. Because you were men in the house? Yes, I confirm the prophets to be true. We were 11 in our family. And my father, he, he, he was a police officer, he stopped work when we were very young. He left us, he went to join his sister. We remained with our mom, she's the one who brought us up. You know, she could go fend for us. We could not have advice. It only took the grace of God that we grew up. You could go out dancing. Everybody does whatever he wants. Everyone does whatever they feel like doing. I confirm the prophecy to be true. Yes, myself, I loved dancing when I was young. My other brother... Even now? I confirm the prophets to be true. Even now, I love dancing, I love singing. This is the imprint from Zambia receiving deliverance. 
My name is Praxidis Kapemba. I'm from Zambia. A man of God in our family. There is a lot of stagnation. Once the family walk away from God and start consulting which doctors, what do you expect? Yes, man of God, I can confirm. The family had a place. Uh, you enter the forest like this. Yes, man of you God. You know that which doctor? In our village, I remember my mother took me to a witch doctor. The house was in the forest, would like enter in the in trees, and then he, the, the small house in the in the forest, like in the bush. Yes, I confirm the prophecy to be true. Deliverance going on for this lady from Zambia. Be free in Jesus' holy name. My name is Hofa Nempuchane. I'm from Botswana. I would like to know why I keep on dreaming very huge snakes. I would like to know the meaning of because this. Because of the dream. mother's issue, the mother was trapped. My mother was married in 1996. I was four years old by then. And then my father in 2000 passed on by a car accident. After that, the, my father's family accused her of killing my father. That's very true, man of God. I can confirm that. This is a big nightmare for you. Come for prayer. It has become a big problem. Never go and come back. No? What witness is this delivery is going on for this lady from Botswana? Be free in Jesus' holy name.